Yo guys, welcome to Movie Jabber. Where were you? You better have been on the moon. That's where I'm late, Welcome to Movie Jabber episode 6, season 2. Really? You think you can just walk in here 25 minutes late and just sit down and, and you get to do the intro? Welcome to Movie Jabber, episode whatever. Today's gonna be awesome. We're reviewing Samita Samurai. No thanks to you. This week's trash is smash it. I get to trash Tyler's face and smash it. <laughs> Samiyu Samurai is a series which is set in Kenya, starring a man named Samiyu, who is a samurai. A samurai. And you know uh, how I figured that out mm. because the series is called Samiyu Samurai, right? I figured it out because I watched the thing and appreciated the art. It, okay. You telling me that one person started all this? <laughs> nice set of skills you got over there. Yeah, Samiyu Samurai is awesome. It's about this samurai. His name is Samiyu. He goes to Japan and then there's an er there's a, a tsunami and somehow he ends up in a matatu in Kenya driving around and then he saves his village from all sorts of evil things. Very much. Okay, thank you. The hammer is his. Thank you very much. Yep. You're fired. <laughs> First up, Jonah Wise, does it live up? Yes, I give it a 4 out of 5. Why? Because I think it pays tribute and, and tries to live up to the tradition of Kung Fu films in terms of, you know, actions. the action fight scenes escalate for really, without really much of an in-depth reason, but hey, it's Kung Fu, go and see guys fighting. So 4 out of 5, the story does live up. I also give it a 4 out of 5. I think it's an awesome concept, uh, especially because a lot of Kenyans have grown up watching um, this kind of samurai movies and stuff and it's an awesome opportunity to put it in a Kenyan context so uh, 4 out of 5. Uh, special effects, CGI, that kind of stuff. Um, CGI, the only CGI is a flying sword which seems to show up every once in a while which I think is kind of weird. That's one thing I like think your face is weird. <laughs> um, there wasn't much in this particular uh, series which is great because it didn't need it. Um, the only thing is a flying sword which sh shows up every once in a while which I think is a bit odd. Uh, my recommendation is to, to cut that because I'm confused as to why there's a flying sword. But maybe I'm just stupid. Oh, I give it... You're stupid. And then, as for the fight scenes... That was so confusing. I'm rating it 3 out of 5 because of the fight scenes. I thought they were pretty good, but it was a bit weird that um, a lot of the people seemed like they were waiting on the sidelines, just waiting to get beat up by Samir Samurai. I give it a 3 out of 5 too, basically for the same reasons as Tyler, so there. Pow. My most short of the year. Uh, Alright, next category, third one is casting and acting. This is where I give it the first lowest mark. Two out of five. Why is that so? Because I felt the acting uh, most part, for most, not all, but for most of the cast was uh, rigid, uh, expected, and it was, it was just obvious they were acting. You know, you speak, I wait for you to speak, facial expressions, everything else, they weren't really relaying the word, so two out of five for me. Um, I gave it a four out of five, a bit more. Um, I upped the grade a little bit because I thought they were all working really hard. I, I felt like they uh, were trying really hard. And then the, the antagonist, the guy who's the bad guy who kind of runs the marketplace, I thought he did a really good job. He had some memorable lines. And uh, my only real critique is that um, a lot of times it seemed like people didn't really have their, their lines fully memorized. And they were just kind of going off what they were, kind of the general line of what they were supposed to say. Good oh, story. and the girl had a cute face. Cute face, that's the reason why you also gave it a 4 out of 5. Yeah, she looks like this. Do that in post-production. Dialogue, I gave a 3 out of 5. I thought the dialogue was uh, pretty good. There were some interesting lines. There's a really awesome line where the antagonist says, uh, do, I, do you want me to give this lady a facelift? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's like he's going to do some kind bad. of... Yeah, oh. I thought that was cool. But uh, other than that, I felt like a lot of the lines had missed up. I felt like there were places where you could have thrown in something witty or something interesting to say, but the uh, writers just kind of let it go. They, they drop some. Dialogue, I give it a two out of five. Why do I give it a two out of five? Because I have a feeling that the strength, that the original strength of this series is simply the kung fu-ness. End of story. 
didn't pay much attention to the dialogue. Okay, I did pay much attention to the dialogue, but the dialogue is probably the uh, the most least fed aspect of the series. So two out of five for me. Are you guys going? We're coming back. Good. We have a Someone guest has to take studio. the props off the table. All right, cool. All right, the fifth and last category is directing script story. What do I think about the script and the story plus directing of Simu Samurai? I think it's good enough to be given a four out of five. Why? Because it's bold, it's daring. I mean, think about it. What was the first or last time you saw anything Kung Fu related on Kenyan screens or even online? So I think it's pretty, pretty daring. I give it a four out of five because for Kung Fu series, it does live up to the silliness, the action, and over-exaggeration of a Kung Fu film with the bad guy and the good guy and the damsel in between and all the people. And the grandma. Uh, this is one part where we're going to disagree. I think both of us looked at different angles of the story. I, I, I gave it only a 2 out of 5. And the reason for that was I think there was a lot of things that they could have delved into that they didn't. Like, uh, how did he get to Kenya after, or what was the whole story of him being in Japan? That was not explored at all. Oh. Maybe later in the series we'll find out that there's something more to it. But, uh, yeah, the story in general I think was a little bit... They needed a way to have Kung Fu in Kenya. They, they need, yeah, they needed a way to get the Kung Fu into Kenya. But, but then, now the surrounding aspects, like the motivations, yeah. and the reasons, not well, really now that we've, Now that out. they've got him here, it's like, I, I think it would be, because as much as it's a cool concept to have Kung Fu guys in Kenya doing their cool fighting stuff, you also want to delve into the character of who this guy is, you know? Otherwise, it's just a gimmick. It's just like a one episode and then that's it. But for a series, you need to really look at the characters. And that's something I felt was like. Especially for a series. Alright, cool. So after much debate and using several calculators, my average tally Breaking is... several calculators. Thank you way. very much. My average tally is 3 out of 5. What is yours? Mine is 3.2 out of 5. Alright. So uh, yeah. combining both our tallies to get the official Movie Jabber rating for Simu Samurai, we give it a 3.1 out of 5. Which isn't a smash hit, because smash is between 4 to, 4 to 5 out of 5. And neither is it a trash hit, which is between 1 to 2 out of 5. It is simply... Average. As much as I want to tell you to smash it, it isn't. Um, but I, I am recommending it. So go watch it. We should have a link somewhere. There'll be a link. Well, that's it from us this week. Remember, go check out some new samurai. And, uh, and this month's TJX April is Oblivion. For more about Movie Jabber, visit our website, moviejabber.org. Feel free to email us, moviejabber at gmail.com, with your thoughts and sentiments. Apart from commenting on this YouTube video down below. I, I don't know if I forgot anything else. Oh yeah, be sure to tweet us at at, at twitter.com slash moviejabber, at moviejabber. There are several ways you could have shortened that. And, and be sure to check out our email at moviejabber at gmail.com. Tyler, take it easy, keep your clothes on. Moviejabber at gmail.com. If you have any questions, whatsoever suggestions, and that's it from us this week. Yeah? This is Movie Jabber. Be sure to tell your grandparents. Done. And cut! Dude, you right. let me take my shirt off once, man. It's not even that big of a deal. It's yeah, just, I, I just thought it'd be a funny joke that the audience would well, like. We've done the joke before, man. Seriously. Come on, you guys. <laughs> I don't know why you... You're always against me. The audience, the people who are watching this, they think that the beef between you and me is just some, some joke that we had last season. But it just comes... The, the actual beef we have just keeps coming to the surface. Something like that, but much better. So today we're only reviewing the pilot. The pilot, the first one. Yeah. Does someone right. yell cut? Or... <laughs> it's a lot like our lives. This movie. We should do another take. Sorry. I'm sorry, I lost all my sight with <laughs> You get scared away. <laughs> I'm just gonna realize people have never made it out a lot.
Where's Melissa today? Oh yeah. Oh can. yeah. <laughs> 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 Laugh louder than we should be. <laughs> so are you okay with that? When it happens to you, it just kind of hurts. What are you talking? Are you, who are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera. It's already cool. Oh. It's recording. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Do you just want to like? You just don't want Chiso to have any free time. <laughs> Brought to you live, courtesy of cocaine. <laughs> Why are we so terrible at this? <laughs>